when I came home for a moment, Dusty had a zero reaction to my arrival because... Look at me, temporary car. So this isn't going to be a very complicated review. All I have to say is that the 2022 Sports Edition Corolla is still as daunting as I have always felt about newer cars being higher tech and stuff. The first thing I had to do was disable that whole lane control feature it has that makes your steering wheel start feeling all kinds of weird. The anti-collision button because I swear I was behind someone just normal and all of a sudden the car started slowing down on its own and on top of that the cruise control is like another language for me because even if I said it sometimes the speed fluctuates in a way that with my regular Corolla that doesn't happen ever unless I'm going up a hill or down a hill but for some reason the road had like very minimal changes in I guess it's descent or ascent and this thing was acting all kinds of crazy so I'm not convinced by this old high-tech stuff in cars. The interior is still pretty nice looking more modern looking but it really doesn't resemble my regular Corolla very much. The one thing I can appreciate is this being leathery as opposed to hard plastic that has been probably the only thing that turns me off about my regular Corolla. Pedals, they're not really like the Camrys. The Camrys are like attached to the floor, but this one is like hanging just like regular ones. And then the brake is the same shape as my pedal. I think that is the same shape as my pedal too. Maybe slightly more curved than I'm used to. Yeah, I wouldn't own this car. Look at all those buttons. My steering wheel only has a few buttons, not very much. I don't even know what that is. Uh, that, what is that? Wi-Fi at the tip of my nose. <laughs> I guess that's the lane control thingy. Mode, that changes the channels on the radio. I don't need it to do that. And then the alienistic cruise control. Um, I'm not having a baby, so I don't care for that. Imagine owning this, never having a kid, and how fugly that looks. And I'm guessing that little platform there, you could still pull it and it would deploy a spot for you to hold drinks and stuff. Yep. Shape of the key. It's not really a fob. Kind of grateful for that because, sure, the fob is cool and stuff, but I'm really old school. I prefer this version of keys yep look at all that who needs that who asked for that oh trust me i'm trying to drive safely with all these crazy features you got so yep don't need that no, I don't need assistance steering my steering wheel. So, anyway, hopefully that's off. And then uh, that, let's see. Yep, turn that shit off. I'm guessing every time I start the car, I have to go through this. It doesn't remember that that's the setting I chose. I forgot what RSA means. So it gives me that. And then my volume up button. I guess that's to dial. I guess that would be speech commands. This is to skip tracks and stuff. My sport button if I want to go like a bullet. My slip when wet button in case I got to dig myself out from a puddle or something. The air conditioner was kind of tripping me too. I think it would take me a minute to remember where my buttons are. Whereas with my regular Corolla, I just go blip, 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 wherever I need it. I don't have to look at it. Very tactile, but this one is like, holy shit. 
I gotta get used to it. I get information there. And something weird is I guess it automatically places the parking brake. Because I don't see a um, thingity thing here for the parking brake like some other models of cars. Um, but as soon as I shift this, it takes care of itself. So, yep. I miss my stick. You know, where's my stick? I don't know what that is. It doesn't help that I'm not the original owner of this vehicle. This was loaned to me. So it's not like I can get a little crash course about what these buttons are. Performance wise, I can appreciate that because it's a new car, of course, it won't shake as much. It feels very smooth. The cabin is quiet. I would imagine it has like the fire walls and stuff blanketing the engine area and that gives me a quieter experience. The sound of the <laughs> blinker is like a little softer. It's not like this one's more... It just feels softer. Everything about it is just softer. And you guys know me, I'm not a softy. I like a degree of roughness with my stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, backup camera, I don't use it because it confuses the hell out of me. That's how old school of a driver I am. And to this day, I still don't understand it really. Like, is the red line my bumper? And for some reason, when I shift my transmission, um, this thing, I hear something. It's almost like the flaps on a plane and the feel of my pedal changes too. And I swear, I hear some sound coming from the trunk, like the spoiler. I wish I knew what that is. But anyway, rim design. Not bad, pretty modern. Pretty smooth outside. Tinted window. The mirrors have lights for the blinker too. Lights come on automatically. Based on the weather, I guess. My tire thing is missing a cap. This is kind of cute, especially on a white car. It gives it a little bit of a balance. I do like that it has a shark fin. That reminds me, to this day, I still don't know where my antenna is on my Corolla. I don't have the stick. I don't have the shark fin. Where else could it be? So yeah, you guys, um, I'm grateful this is not my car or my new car because I cannot imagine customizing it enough to where it suits my personality. Like, I'm very simple. The radio itself, it's still the same as what I showed you guys last time. I don't find this fun. I find this overwhelming, especially to be my daily vehicle. At least um, borrowing it, it's like, okay, whatever. I'll get something new and fresh, but... This being my personal car with all these features, I didn't ask for this. And this mug goes up to 160 miles per hour. I don't think my Corolla does that. I think mine goes up to 140. Now, as soon as I was done with my last segment, I was gonna check my face. And I find this detail pretty cool. I wish it were nighttime, but this has its own exclusive little light to where I go like that and it automatically comes on. I don't need to be reminded that I am an ugly motherfucker. But yeah, it's a pretty good selfie light, I guess. Now, do I have to press that button for it to come to my rescue or is this one of those that it anticipates, or not anticipates, but it knows you've been in a collision and it automatically dials emergency services and uh, I think if you don't respond within a certain amount of time, it comes to your aid by dialing for you. I don't know. 
this button you guys does anybody know what that is what that is what that is what that is but especially this one because i've seen it in other cars before but i know what none of that is maybe okay so this turns that on this i guess it's selective which side i can right okay so right off the bat that icon is not very obvious for me but this button i've never known what it does and i just know that if you press it it'll pop out press it again it pops back in so what is that what is it doing i'm trying to look around as i press it and i don't see any differences with my doors is it locking my doors is that it no yeah please tell me what that is because i tried to google it but i don't know what to call it i guess button with doors open on the what is this section of the car called the ceiling <laughs> yeah yeah this is why i can't have complex cars you guys i'm a very simple person and technologically ignorant when it comes to cars so don't complicate shit for me especially if i didn't ask for it if the camera picks up what i'm saying see when i i pushed it on drive now but when i push it to park the pedal changes the brake pedal changes and if i set it to drive it'll it kind of pushes back on my foot why does it do that is it just letting me know that i'm on drive mode and park mode like do people really forget what mode they're in and now we need that what if i put it on reverse nothing happens neutral nothing happens yeah yeah i don't get it nobody asked for that now my speedometer looks kind of cute i kind of like the silver ring around it i am back at my beautiful cozy car home and nothing is getting me out of here as long as i'm breathing It's back. Eat me. It really eat me. <laughs> See, I'm telling you. The new Corolla has no place in my life. It gives my cat emotional damage. I need to order my weather strips. I keep forgetting. 